Hello guys, it's Chup and today I will give you a quick introduction to a competitive play to the multiplayer of AoE 2 DE so if you've just started out you want to get better learn the game a bit then this video is for you I'm gonna show you a few things about what you should be thinking during the game how you should be starting up the game and about the settings in the lobby so here we are in the lobby and normally if you're playing one versus one it's gonna be on tiny map and you're gonna want to select normal game speed not casual the ranked map queue currently consists of a bunch of mm, mixed maps hybrid maps mostly it has also arabia and mongolia but what most players are used to playing in competitive level is the arabia so I'm gonna show you how you should play on Arabia. So this is how the game looks when you start a, any multiplayer game. You have three villagers to start with and a scout. Also, most maps you have four starting ship that should be pretty close to your town center. So this is where most of the time the beginners they already get it wrong. So what you should do is firstly start with the houses and after that your aim is to constantly produce villagers out of your town center. That way your empire will have a constant production of villagers who then are gonna gather resources, more and more resources for you to grow fast. So we queue villagers and build two houses. Then we send the sheep to the town center. You can use a couple of the sheep for scouting. It's not necessary. It's more advanced stuff. And now you are gonna try to eat the sheep. So we need six villagers on the sheep. That will already give you enough food production to keep your town center going for for the early game and after we have six villagers on sheep we should make a lumber camp but firstly we get six villagers on sheep and one nice thing about D is that you can actually shift Q the actions for the villagers so what you do is select all your villagers press shift and press the next sheep the next sheep should be pretty close to the villagers so they can instantly start eating the next sheep So the seventh villager, once you have six on sheep, will go to make a lumber camp. That way we start already gathering wood for the necessary buildings that we are going to need. Such as the mill and then the military buildings later on. So it kind of depends on your strategy, how many you put on wood. But let's say you want to do a fast castle. Man at arm rush, uh, four is good. Three, you can also do man at arms, you can do scouts. But we're gonna put four for now. So again, your aim is to always have your villagers working and always have your town center working. So once we have four on wood or three, we are gonna try and lure the boar. The boar is much faster food source than the sheep and it has also a lot more food. It has like triple the food. So we're gonna shoot the boar once and then run back. In old AOC you had to shoot the boar twice but in this game you only need one. The villager after this will build a house. Oh boy. The villager after this will build a house. So we are not going to get population capped, as you can see. We are now 14 out of 15, and now we can build a mill. So after lumber camp, we now have the wood to build a mill. And we want to get more villagers into the mill. We support more wood economy so that we can go to village. 
You don't want to put more than four on the berries because after that it w it will start to become more and more or less efficient. Having so many villages on the wood, uh, food, berries in this case. So I decided to put this video on stop at this point so you won't get too overwhelmed by all the information you are getting. I'm just gonna finish off by saying that I'm gonna make more follow-up videos. If you have any other questions feel free to re leave them in the comment section and also subscribe to the channel for more similar content.